Hey, what's up guys? Radon here with Dirt and Iron. Today I took you out here. This is uh, OHV uh, Trail. This is one of my favorite spots where I come here all the time to ride. And uh, you can see this uh, requirements, spark arrestor, silent muffler, green sticker, registration, helmet, all these things. And here's spark arrestor, right? This is a public land. In California, there's a bunch of public lands where you can go riding. It's really beautiful, nice nature, nice single tracks. It looks really good. But from 2018, they are going to change the law. It's still not 100% decided, but it looks like they, it will pass. And uh, I found out some new things about it, about the green sticker, red sticker situation. I want to share it uh, today in this video. Show you my uh, ferry spot as I ride it down, and I'll talk to you regarding that issue. So stick around. <laughs> guys I wanted to take you on this section for a longer time I haven't shown you this yet it is very nice downhill with a lot of turns and a lot of jumps like this one where you can really enjoy riding this thing down and as I as I ride this thing I want to talk about this topic that is very relevant now you know I did the video about uh, I don't know three months ago it's about the two strokes I can put link below in the description that California is trying to stop red stickers from a public land so that would mean what I thought it would mean that uh, two strokes are pretty much dead on a public land but it's even worse than that what's gonna happen is that if everything goes according to what they plan to do, which in California usually does happen like that, they will stop all the red stickers from public land. So only green sticker can come on a public land, right? So first I thought, all right, pollution and whatnot, I will get some green sticker bike, maybe go get a brand new four stroke, like XCW or XC or something like that, you know, and have that for for trails. But then, what I found out recently when I went to visit KTM dealer, Husky dealer, I went to my local dealer for Suzuki, Yamaha, Honda, all these dirt bikes. So actually this year, there is no bike, no dirt bike with the green sticker. You cannot buy it, it doesn't exist. All the bikes that used to come with a green sticker, they don't come with a green sticker no more. But we were hoping that, we were hoping that maybe the TPI, that fuel injected two stroke, will have green sticker. There's no way, not even four stroke that is fuel injected. is having a green sticker these days. So I don't think there is any hope for two strokes in California is over even for the four stroke so as I said there is no four stroke no two stroke dirt dirt bike that you can buy and use on a public land with a green sticker so the only way you can come on this beautiful trail again in 2018 look I like this section I turn off the gas. Not the best thing to do, huh? Yeah. My, my gas was off. Alright, let's do it again. So, in 2018, you want to come on this beautiful trail. Look at this single track. It's not easy to make it, but you would only be able to make it on a dual sport. You can take your DRZ, you can take your maybe WR 250. Even WR 450 is not green sticker anymore and you can't even buy it street legal. Only street legal you can buy is WR 250 these days. So the only hope is to buy a dual sport KTM, Husky or Beta. EXE, TE and Beta dual sport. These are nice jumps. 
So if Biden's do sports, of course they are street legal because they meet the emission standards, right? So they can really choke that from the factory. Take EXC compared to XC, you're gonna feel a big difference. So get those restricted dirt bikes from a factory, play with them, open the airbags, get the mats, get the other pipe and things like that. Breathe a little bit of life into those dual sports and then take them on a trail like this. That's pretty much the only way for 2018, which is sad. I mean, look at all those bikes, XC, XCW, TC, TX, all those amazing bikes. There's no use for them here in California, no use at all. And nobody's gonna buy that and take it on the close course competition. Unless you are a professional, you, you compete GNCC or something like that, all right, you're gonna buy that bike. But if you are a weekend warrior like many of us, you're not gonna spend money on that bike because you cannot ride it here. And some people might say, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna stop if somebody is trying to check me. You know what, a couple of weeks ago, they stopped me. They wanted to see Spark RH store, they wanted to see registration, everything. It's not so hard for them to stop you. If you don't stop on the trail, they will go down to the track. So that's how they got people. They go down to the track and they wait for them. You have to go home one time, right? You go back to your track, forestry is right there waiting for you. So, there's the situation. There's actually the end of the part. It's really nice. Usually I go a little bit faster, jump a little more, but today I wanted to focus on this conversation I do. So it's a little bit sad. I mean, what can you do? There's no green, no green stickers anymore. You cannot buy, just get a bike that has already a green sticker and then ride it like that for two strokes. That would be 2002, the last bike, last two strokes in California that had green sticker was 2002. So, you know, I'm thinking to maybe get some YZ250 two stroke 2002 with green sticker and just just build it completely put 300 uh, kit on it suspension 18 inch wheel kickstand everything and make it into the bike i like because there's no way here in california i can have another two stroke and ride it on a public land it's sad but that's what it is hey guys let me know below in the description what you think about all this no more green stickers and all the red stickers are prohibited from public land so in other words no more dirt bike on public land from 2018 only the bikes that were sold before and they had green sticker which is very small percentage all right guys that's about it for today and don't forget whatever you do stay motivated see you later